Okay, on this video, I'm going to discuss about Form 5 and Max uh, probability. Okay, okay, today I'm going to use two uh, consider very famous types of the questions to teach you about the independent event in the probability in MX. Okay, this is from 5 chapter. So, over here, you will see a table. This is color, this is number of cut, and then for the black color of cut, you have 5, and then blue color of cut, you, got f you have 4, and yellow color of cut, you have 3. Okay, and then the question is, he said two, cut, uh, two cuts are drawn at the random from the box. Okay, find the probability that both color are of the same color. Okay, first you must understand how many cards do we have in the box. So, you just sum it up, you will got 5 plus 4 plus 3 is 12. So, the total is 12. Okay, this is the first information I get. Okay, so, since the total is 12, so, let me do some Okay, do some calculation before I start to do the, this question. Okay, first, I want to find the probability I will get the black color card. Okay, the probability will be, for black color card, will be the event divided by total. Total is 12. So this is the probability. And then probability, I will get the blue card. Okay, see black and blue is also, it start from B, so I call this one B prime. Okay, this stands for blue, uh, or equal to 4 is the event, and then 12. And then for yellow card, probably for yellow card, will be 3 over 12. Okay, I just write it down because I know later I'm going to use this one. Okay, so now, find the probability that both cards are of the same color. Okay, you imagine, now you have a box over here. Okay, imagine this, the box. Okay, now if you draw, first color is black. And then, what is the probability that you draw the second card, you will get black also. This is the me meaning, you imagine if here you have 12 colors of different cards. What is the probability the first card you, you get is blue, and then the second card you get is blue also. Okay, this is the meaning. Okay, so if you understand about this meaning, okay. For this kind of question, actually, if you know how to use Tree diagram is is going to be very helpful and very easy to do. Okay, so let me draw a simple tree diagram to make sure you can understand it better. Okay, so for example, now I have three different color of cut. So my tree diagram will start at something like this: one, two, and three. Okay, so the first one I have is blue. Ah, uh, is black, blue and yellow of course okay so i just write it down first okay for black i will have 5 over 12 for blue i will have 4 over 12 uh, for yellow i will have 3 over 12 okay now this is this one i have to label this is the first first time first time I drawn first time drawn from the box from the box okay but then because the question asks two cards so I know I actually I have to draw this one two times so now this will be the second time this is the second time okay so the second time for you okay I will have three also one, two, and three. This one I have one, two, and three. This one I have one, two, and three. Okay, means what? Okay, mean is the first time. First time if I got black color, I got black color because in the box I have three color only, but black, blue, and yellow. So the second time I can. It's the possible. It's the po uh, We have the possibility. We will get black, or we get blue, or we get yellow. Correct or not? So it's the first time I get blue. So second time when I take one, 
uh, when I draw one more card, it's the possibility I will get black, blue, and yellow. Yes, I can get black color, I can get blue color, I can get yellow color in the second time. It's possible. So if I first time, if I get this yellow color, the second time, it is possible I will get black, blue, and yellow. Because in, in the box, we only have these three color. Okay, so mean, this is the first time. Means, means what? Okay, means this is the first time. If the first time, I randomly grab one. Okay, I randomly grab one, it's possible I get black. Then, this is black. And then randomly get one, I possibly I get blue. Or I randomly get one, it's possible I get yellow. Okay, and then after I get one, I just take it out. And then now, I will draw second time. So when I draw second time, it's possible to get black, yellow, and it's possible I get blue. Okay, this is the meaning. I hope you can understand. Then, something's change, changing. Okay, over here. Okay, of course, this question I think is not accurate enough because he didn't say whether he got put back the card or not. But then, but then because he said he must have two cards. So must have two cards so we know impossible if put back the card. Then he only, when he drawn second time, he only have one card. In order to have two cards, he must draw second time without replacement back. Without replacement back the card. Okay, so... Now, if without replacement, so what we know is when, when you, the first time you get black color, the second time, the total is 12 will become 11 because if here you have 12, you take one you without replacement, here you will left 11 only. Okay, this is the meaning. So the total now will become 11. However, however, if the first time you, we have five black over here, when you take out one black, you will still left four black card only. Because you take out one already, now you have one. So second time drawn again, you only left four. Okay? Over 11 because the total now is 11. Okay? Got the idea. Because this is the first time you drawn, you be without replacement is very important. Huh? This without replacement back. without replacement back. So, the second time you draw, the total will be minus one. Of course, this is a, you, well, first time you already get one black card, the second time only have four. However, okay now, what is the probability for blue in the second time? Blue, you have how many? You have four. The first time you get black, so, f so second time, blue is still f f four only. Be without change, right? because first time you get is black color. So blue is remain 4 card over 11 because total become 11. Yellow. Yellow will remain 3 also. The total is 11. Got the idea? Okay. If the first time you get is blue color, so your second time if you get is black color, the probability will remain 5. Because first time you, if the first time you get is blue color, your black card, you still have 5. Right? So it's 5 over 11. Blue will minus one because you already take out you got four blue card but first time if you get is four uh, if you get is blue card so the second time you get blue will be three only three over eleven because in the second time you only remain three blue color card because first time you already take out one so here you remain three okay so I do it quickly so this one yellow will remain three over eleven okay black Will remain because first time you get yellow ah. so first will remain is 5 over 11 blue will remain because you get yellow F blue is 4 over 11 okay so if the first time you get yellow second time you get yellow again the total of the yellow will minus 1 left 2 over 11 okay if you got the idea then will be very easy to solve already okay now what we want to do now, okay? He wants same color. See, two cut, uh, both cut are same color. So mean if the first time I get is black, second time I get must be black also. This is the meaning, black and black. If the first time I get is blue, second time I get is blue also. Okay, if the first time I get is yellow, 
Second time I get must be yellow. This is the meaning for two both cards are same color. What? Both cards are the same color. So three diagram you must know how to use two diagram. When this when from uh, left to right actually we are multiple. I mean in order to get a probability for here is this one multiple this one. And then probably for here is this one multiple this one. This one multiple this one. Like three diagram from from left to right you are multiple, but then from top to bottom is sum up. So I'm going to show you how this happened. Okay, this one, so both also will get black, it will be 5 over 12, multiple 4 over 11. Okay, and then first time you get blue, second time you get blue again, mean both is blue card, is 4 over 12, multiple 3 over 11. Okay, and then the first time you get yellow, is 3 over 12. The second time you get yellow again, is 2 over 11. So, this is the probability for both you will get black color both you will get blue color and both you get yellow color and then because you want both cut a same color right means three of this post three of this probability you have to plus together means what you can see a way i use three diagram when i from here to here i multiply but then after i got the probability from top to bottom i will plus I will plus them together. This is this is what I, I try to say. So yeah, in order to get the probability, they will be very simple. I just sum up everything. So so then I will write over here probability for both same color. Same color will be okay will, will be 5 over 12 multiple 4 over 11 plus 4 over 12 multiple 3 over 11 plus uh, 3 over 12 multiple 2 over 11. Sum all of them together, you will get. Uh, okay, let me sum them faster. Okay, 1, 3, 5 over 33 plus. Okay, one, three. Okay, one, three. So it will be three over thirty-three. And then this one, one. This one is six. Six. So it will be plus. Uh, this one will be three over sixty-six. Okay. Okay. Then yeah, just all multiple two again. This will be 10 multiple 66 plus 6 multiple uh, 6 over 66 plus 3 over 66. So we plus them together, we have got the answer which is uh, 19. 19 over 66. Done. Okay, for this kind of example. I hope you can understand how we do that because you want two cut. Both cards are same color, so you must can imagine the first step is very easy because we know black is 5 over 12, we know blue is 4 over 12, we know yellow is 3 over 12. However, the second time you get you, you want to get back the black color, you must know if this if these cases is without replacement, you must understand that, that when the second time you drawn the total already minus one already because here total is 12 card. If you not putting it back, so the second time you will have only eleven. So, so yeah, the first time you got is black. The second time only the black will minus one on on the top here. So the blue and yellow is remain. This very makes sense because the first time you get is black, it's not blue and not yellow. Okay, and then you write out all the possibility, and then and then you will see what the question one. If the question one, uh, both. Must both card must be both card must be different color, then it's very simple. You use one minus this possibility. One minus this one, yeah, then you can get both card uh different color or you can suck you can multiple and sum up one by one. Just black multiple blue, black multiple yellow, and then blue multiple black, blue multiple yellow, and yellow multiple black, yellow multiple blue, all out multiple, you sum up together, you have the same answer with one minus this answer. Okay? 
Okay, I hope this video can help you understand better about the probability. Of course, I, I think I will post few more videos about probability because this chapters is quite hard to understand for some students. Yeah, anyways, hope you enjoy the video.